good Saturday morning. I'm KHU 11 meteorologist Chris Ramirez. This is as of the latest from the 10 a.m. advisory from the National Hurricane Center. Of course, the next one from the National Hurricane Center will be back out at 4 p.m. and we could be looking at more updates with the forecast as we're getting a better understanding as Beryl uh, is heading closer towards the Texas coast. It's still a ways away right now. It is a tropical storm with winds at 60 miles an hour moving west northwest at 12 miles an hour. It is approximately 456 miles away from the Texas coast. So there's still a lot of Gulf of Mexico uh, to uh, track over before it makes landfall. And then in that time period, we could see that strengthening back into a hurricane status just prior to landfall. So looking at the latest track, we are seeing, of course, this is actually looking at the uh, the, the ghost satellite imagery of those clouds that are associated with the storm. As we look at the latest track, we're expecting this to uh, strengthen into a hurricane around Sunday evening, just prior to landfall, making landfall somewhere around sun Monday morning between Corpus Christi south of Matagorda. So expecting this to be a tropical storm as it nears just to the west of the Houston area, eventually tracking off towards the northeast as we go to into Tuesday into Wednesday. We're actually seeing that cone shrink just a little bit as we're getting a better understanding. Of course, all of southeast Texas was included under uh, that forecast track. Now they're eliminating some areas across our areas, uh, especially east of Houston from from the track as that cone is expected to shrink going into the next 48 hours. We are expecting some rain out of this. So looking at the GFS American model, uh, the rain, the heavier rainfall is going to be around the center of the storm. The good news is that barrel is not as big. We're able to see that uh, those orange and yellow colors. That's where most of the heavier rain uh, will be from this system. So if you are watching in and around from Victoria, Edna, even portions of Matagorda Bay, even Austin, San Antonio might even get some of the heavier rainfall as this storm attracts off towards the northeast. But here's the good news with this. As we go into Tuesday afternoon, we're expecting a Monday morning landfall. Tuesday afternoon, this system is already going to be off towards the northeast, tracking towards uh, uh, Louisiana and portions of Mississippi. So this is going to be fast moving. We hope that it's fast moving as we continue through the next 48 hours. Uh, but lingering showers are possible at least through Sunday. But as we look at the rain accumulation, some of us could get up to five to seven inches of rain. Right now, the latest models is showing more of the heavier rainfall. We're able to see those those orange, reds, and those white colors. That's where the heavier rainfall is expected. That's the five to seven inch accumulation. That's going to be mainly west of Houston, even though we can't rule out a possible three to four inches of rain in some locations here across the Houston area. And we just hope that it's not all at once and it's pretty much widespread. But since this is a fast moving storm, we are expecting this to be out of the area by Tuesday afternoon. However, hurricanes as they're approaching the coastal areas, they do have some impacts. Of course, that hurricane watch that's in effect from Brazosport to Port Lavaca, including portions of Corpus Christi to Port Mansfield. But other thing to note is that storm surge watch. We could see up to two to five feet of water inundation as this storm nears the Texas coast. So a storm surge watch is in effect for coastal Harris, Galveston, all the way down to Brazosport, Port Lavaca, even Corpus Christi. I think we're going to get up to two to four feet of a storm and storm surge inundation in and around the Galveston area. So just keep that in mind that if you are along the immediate coast, uh, heed those uh, warnings from the local officials in terms of evacuation warnings or possible uh, land warnings as we go into the next few hours. So storm surge watch in effect for us. That's going to begin this evening as we look at the chance of winds at 39 miles an hour or greater. It's going to be mostly uh, towards the center of the storm, like I said, with the heavier rainfall. So south of Brazosport, Victoria, you have a more greater chance of seeing some of those stronger winds going into the next 48 hours. Also, we have to keep in mind of the possible severe weather threat that's associated with those outer rain bands that usually like to move away from uh, tropical storms and hurricanes. So the Storm Prediction Center is giving portions of southeast Texas a slight risk for severe weather. 
weather that's going to be tomorrow night into Monday morning. So what that means is that we could see some possible strong to severe storms that could spit out a tornado or two going into the start of this next week. So that tornado threat is going to be at play for our coastal areas. That does include from Houston, Galveston, Angleton, Anahuac, south of Liberty, and all the way down to El Campo in Bay City. So the severe storm threat still at play uh, as the uh, storm is going to be making landfall, even though it's going to be making landfall just uh, near uh, south of uh, Bay City, just north of Corpus. Just keep in mind that those outer bands doesn't mean that we could still see some possible tornadoes with these with this storm as we go into the next few uh, 48 hours uh, to through Tuesday. So looking at the southeast of Texas impacts, we are expecting that increasing wind, rain and surf and rough seas for all of our coastal areas, no matter where the landfall is going to happen. We're going to see heavy rain and a tornado threat for us here across southeast Texas, as well as that timing, expecting it to be Sunday night through Tuesday evening uh, for the start of next week. So we are keeping that in the picture going into the next seven days. The KHOU 11 weather team has issued a weather impact alert for Monday and Tuesday as we're going to see the impacts for barrel. It's expected to make landfall around uh, Monday morning into Tuesday, lingering into Tuesday, but Wednesday through Friday, we will see scattered showers and storms linger, but we are expecting this storm to be out of the picture by Wednesday and Thursday. So we are tracking and making those necessary preparations. We could see some isolated showers later on this afternoon. So if you see any rain this afternoon, I'm recording this as of uh, what time is it? It's 1045 five on Saturday. If you see any afternoon storms, just keep in mind that those are all associated with sea breeze showers, not really barrel that are moving in uh, from our coastal areas or inland areas. So expecting a rather uh, interesting next 48 hours as we head into Sunday and Monday, but we are expecting that landfall uh, to be at some point on Monday.